Welcome back to Order 16 Development Tutorial Videos. So in this video, let's discuss about internationalization and language translation in Order 16. We know Order is one of the best ERP available with the advanced translation tools. Uh, the language translation in Order is a feature to translate words, labels and strings in our required language. That is, with Order we can easily translate text strings in one language to another language without any extra customizations uh, and also we can even use different languages for different users and also can convert website pages to different languages so now we can see how we can achieve this in order 16 so let's go to the translations and languages so that we can enable the language which we want so here you can see that I have already enabled the Spanish language from here. So if you want to enable any other language, you can just uh, select the language and click the activate button from here so that that particular language will be activated. So next is uh, to export the translation for our custom module. So here you can see that I have already install the custom module to do that is to do list so next we have to export the translation for this custom module so this can be done from the translations export translation okay so here we have to select the language and uh, the file format is pr file that is we are downloading uh, the translation as a pr file and next we want to select the app to export so I am selecting the to-do list app and uh, click on export so here you can see that you can download the exported translation file from here so I'm just clicking that so that it will be downloaded so here uh, the translation is downloaded so now let's go to a pie chart and uh, under the directory i18n we can paste the downloaded pr file we can copy and uh, paste the downloaded pr file inside this directory so we know that in auto uh, the translation is um, managed by the directory i18n so after doing this we can modify or we can make the required changes inside the downloaded PR file so here you can see that uh, the menus like uh, to do or activities will be here listed as the message id and uh, we can set the corresponding term in our required language inside the message str uh, value so here let's go to uh, the module okay so let's go and here we can see that the main menu is to do and inside that we have the menus called activities activity types like that so let's uh, go to a pie chart and uh, here you can see that for the activities i have already added the corresponding spanish term like that i have added um, for some other terms as well and also we can see the main menu that is to do so that we can change or we can add the corresponding term or the corresponding spanish term so here you can see that for the to do uh, term we have added the corresponding spanish term now we can restart the service and uh, we can just from the apps menu we can just upgrade the module so after upgrading uh, we have to change the user language so that we can see the changes so i'm just going to the preferences and uh, from here i'm changing the language of the user from english to spanish and save this so so that we can see the corresponding terms will be 
translated to the selected language that is Spanish and also for a custom module to do we can see that the name for menu the main menu has changed as we um, as we updated in the PR file and also we can see that uh, the activities menu name also is trade change so uh, this is how basically we can add translation for our custom module hope this video was useful thanks for watching